Hello everyone, I just wanted to make a quick video on Microsoft's Power BI, which is the analytical tool that is used for data analysis in large corporations um, where we have um, big data. Um, so it's very easy to install and you can go to your Windows store. Uh, let me show you the screen. So you simply go to your Microsoft Store. And from here, you can search for Microsoft's Power BI tool. And then here is the Power BI desktop. If you want to install it on your computer and want to use it as a desktop version, you can install that. So I have already installed that. If not, you would see an install button um, on top here, and you can use that. Um, sorry, my account is still in Swedish. Um, so anyways, I have this started. So once it's installed, just start it. And it's going to open an interface in front of you like this, and it's going to initialize the model that you want to create. It might take a little time starting for the first time because I'm um, setting up all the files and menus um, for you. Okay, so um, this is the interface that you'll have in front of you. It will ask you to sign in. Uh, so that is for the proof features. Um, you can read more about the software itself here. And then here um, is the data if you want to import uh, into your uh, Power IP. There are different data types that you can use that. Now, um, I have already set up a system here, but I'm going to import a brand new file so that I can show you how it's done. So you can press get data. And it's going to give you different options here that you can use uh, to import the data type that you have. For example, if you have the Excel file, you can take that and then CSV common limited file, XML, and there are a whole, whole lot range of the data types that you can use. You can connect it to Microsoft Cloud Azure files. Um, you could also connect it to your Dynamics 365, and there's a lot of options you can do that. So I'm going to go ahead and actually import the Excel file. So we'll connect it. And I can add file. All right, so I have this file. So this file actually has two sheets. Uh, it's going to ask me which one to import. So I'm going to just select this one and press load. You can also transform the data that I'm going to show you shortly how it's done. Um, here on this pane, you can see the visualization that you can create um, with this data. And you can also search for different fields. Um, and you can also add data fields um, and visualize that and, and see how it looks like um, with different graphs. So once our data is imported, um, there are different views that you can actually look that into. So here you see on the right side, you've got all the variables loaded here. So if you want to see that in a tabular format, you can go to here, uh, go to this uh, tab called data, and it's going to load all the data here. So here I have um, sex. So this file is um, from the results of Big Five personality test. Uh, if you don't know about that, you can go to my website and um, take the test itself. So there are five big domains and there are six facets for each domain. So the gender information here is denoted with one being male and um, two being female. And then we have ages, country, and different scores and different facets. So one more thing that you can do is um, that you can also see the properties and object model view of that also. So if you go back to our report view, here you can actually drag and drop 
different elements to visualize that. But I wanted to show you is uh, how do you transform data for analysis? So you can go to transform data and then choose the data. And what said done, you can transform in this window. Uh, so for example, if I, I select the anxiety tab and I wanna make change of that. So I can order it according to the ascending or descending sort. Um, I can also remove the empty ones and then I can also filter it with different age and do all the modification in that. For example, I do not want uh, anyone below age 18. So I can just go ahead and select all of them and press okay. Now you, it has already sorted it um, for the, I'm sorry, that was the anxiety one. So I don't want the low scores below 18 in that. So I would sort it out for that. And on the right side, as you make the change, you see the filter rules. So it's going to give you a complete history of the changes that you have actually made and you can then save it. And then you can run the analysis on that. Uh, and then you can use a lot of different features for uh, this information. You could use this science presentation, standard statistics, and you can also use your R uh, script that you've created in R um, and use that for that. Um, and you, know, you can play around with this. Uh, so I just wanted to give you a brief introduction of how to actually install that um, and import the data and how to transform the data um, and do the data wrangling for subsequent analysis. And then you can also create beautiful visualization that I'm going to show you in another video. So I hope, I'm hope i hoping that this is going to be um, helpful for you. Uh, if you want to play around with that, feel free to do that. If you have any questions, just let me know. Thank you so much.